cultural boundaries. Honestly sharing stories is one way to build peace. And another is through training, a theme we explore with Trisha Reedy from UNITAR, the UN agency that trains peacemakers. So what does training peacemakers exactly mean? Training peacemakers means strengthening the capacity of officials and representatives in transforming the process of dealing with a conflict from a competitive win-lose approach where parties seek to impose or force their solutions in a conflict to instead a process of win-win or mutual benefit. What this process does is create space to understand what are the needs, the concerns of the different parties. And once we understand that, what solutions can we create to help come up with better, more appropriate possibilities for peace? Conflicts come from the heart. They are deep inside people. Can we really learn peace? Well, I would rather say that it is peace that is deeply rooted inside people. We can unlearn these things that actually lead to conflicts, such as discrimination, such as exclusion, such as believing that one group is superior to another or attempts to dominate another. So what we look at with participants in the UNITAR training is how can we change and improve attitudes, behaviors, policies, and institutions so that people feel included, so that voices are heard, so that identity and cultures uh, and the dignity of every human being is respected. What's the role of things like body language or local culture in creating dialogue? Words are very important. At the same time, most of the messages we're sending come through our body language, whether we're aware or not. For example, from my own culture, if I'm not feeling comfortable, if I'm feeling defensive, I may go like this. Uh, it could be cold in the room, but if I'm going like this, it probably means I'm not comfortable, I'm not open to what's happening, and I am not hearing what the other party is saying. Eye contact is another very important issue in cultural negotiations. For example, in my culture, to show I am listening I respect you, I want to understand, I look directly in your eyes. In many cultures, that is the worst thing you can do, especially between women and men or youth and elders. It is a sign of disrespect to look directly in the eyes. So what we do in the UNITAR training is talk with participants and say, any effort you make to understand the culture of the people you're negotiating with can only help the process of understanding and conflict resolution. Thank you, Trisha Reedy.